Don't make stupor. What is stupor? Stupor is that kind of content that you watch to drown out your own thoughts. It's the kind of content that is perhaps taking the form right now specifically of low level dopamine information dump content, like iceberg videos or tier list videos. Now there's nothing wrong inherently with those formats, but the way that those formats are used is just easy ways of drowning out your consciousness. Now I make videos like that sometimes, maybe even too often. And when I make them, I think, hmm, this video is gonna get a lot of views. And uh, it's not exactly art, but people like it, people like content. We love our low level content, don't we folks? There's nothing wrong with enjoying that kind of stuff. I enjoy that kind of stuff. I make that kind of stuff sometimes. Um, and lots of people you respect might make that kind of content. Uh, but what is the point of like learning information on the internet? It's not to actually learn the information. It's so that you can have this like noise that sizzles around your ears, that drip feed of dopamine to like keep your brain stimulated or entertained. But it's really just so that you feel like you're learning something rather than you actually learn something. That's one form of, of, of that stupor content. If you can play it in the background and like kind of like uh, kind of tune in sometimes, tune in, tune out other times, is the kind of art <laughs> that you want to make, something that you want people to consume at two times speed, or something that you would consume at two times speed. Now, that being said, there's plenty of art that gets made that will just be consumed at two times speed anyway. Does that make it less relevant? Does that make it less meaningful, less interesting? I don't know. I'm asking too many questions. There's too many questions being asked. I think you can draw a parallel in your mind. And I think you know deep down what the kind of thing that you're making is. Is it the kind of thing that's going to be the sort of thing that dips into consciousness, that makes people think, perceive differently, feel? Or are you making something to add <laughs> to, the, to the noise? Because there's a lot of noise. You can add to it if you want. And there might be a very lucrative position for you in the noise industry. So I wouldn't knock noise. And more often than not, noise will knock you. It'll win. It's a battle against entropy and entropy tends to win. But I think the kind of art that you should aspire to make, or at least the kind of art that I aspire to make, or at least the kind of art that I like, is the kind of art that makes me conscious, that brings me out of an unconscious state and brings me into a conscious one. If you are the kind of person that can make the kinds of things that can do that, then you might be able to be the kind of person that can make the kinds of things that can be helpful. And we have to believe that we're being helpful or else we can't do anything. You'll just be paralyzed. But I don't really know. <laughs>